All right, guys. Uh, part two of the series. Um, all right. So while I was waiting in line, um, the gentleman in front of me uh, was going through everything that he had, and um, he basically uh, he had way too many th items for what he had available to him to spend. Um, and it, it was really funny because he was waiting in line with I think it was maybe his mom or uh, family member of some sort, but he is constantly hopping back out of line to go look at other stuff. And, um, at the time, uh, you know, he realized that he had spent too much, yet he's still going out trying to find other things. So I don't know what that was all about, but, um, one thing that he did offer me was, uh, the very first one, um, he offered me one of the UK PKs. Uh, was pretty much one of the lines um, that he didn't have or that he already had uh, a couple of and decided that he didn't need so he offered me this one I was happy to take it off of him um, and then he also offered me this H1 uh, I'm not sure it's more it's kinda like a Delica it's basically the size of a Delica H1 steel um, it's got a lot of blade play to it uh, it was ten bucks. I wasn't, you know, I wasn't worried about grabbing it. Um, I thought about grabbing it actually for my brother because he is a deep sea diver. So I decided, yeah, sure, I'll grab that one and I'll probably give it to my brother. Um, just because I won't have a use for H1 steel. Um, and he could probably use it if anything. I'll just give it to him. Um, I threw the lanyard on it because it doesn't have a pick. Uh, a pocket clip to it so um, let's see here and the third knife that he offered up to me which she was hesitant to was the native um, uh, they had originally put these up on the table when I first arrived there and um, they got swallowed up very quickly so that was kinda cool he gave me one of these um, I probably won't have a use for it I do like the functionality of it I do like the grip of it, but the full serrations um, really aren't for me, so I'll probably uh, see if one of my uh, co-workers would have a use for this. Um, one of them was re recently talking about getting a, um, a heavy-duty user, so I don't know how he'll feel about the full serrations, but we'll see about that one. Um, so I took that one off of him, and uh, let's see here, while I was waiting in line, um, I pretty much passed up the, uh, I wasn't going to get any, um, sharpening stones, but I decided I had, you know, so much extra money that I decided to get some sharpening stones. Um, I don't have a sharp maker, but, you know, it never hurts to have a couple of extra stones. I grabbed up those guys. I grabbed up this one for serrations right here. Plus, these guys are real good for serrations as well, because they got a rounded edge. Um... And then I got a couple of bench stones as well, and one really long stone that's extra fine. And this one right here, this one's a really long stone. Um, don't really know what it's used for, it's like an oval shape. But I uh, figured I'd grab up one of those. I grabbed up uh, a extra fine stone, bench stone, and then grabbed up one of these guys as well. Uh, fairly cheap I think this was I think this one was ten dollars and this one was ten bucks it was either five or ten bucks I can't remember and then all the rest of them were pretty much uh, let's see here this one was two dollars these were all fifty cents and then um, I think that's it if I remember correctly they had lots of stones available but some of them were in pretty bad shape uh, you could see some markings in them that were making them um, like they weren't completely smooth so you know you kinda had to pick and choose on those guys uh, then let's see here I also came across the table somebody went up threw this up and I really didn't want one um, I wasn't, you know, super excited about grabbing one of these guys. Um, they threw it back on the table. 
and later on a couple other people ended up throwing them on the table and so I just decided to grab one um, so there was like two or three of them back on the tables and these puppies cost 70 bucks uh, it is ZDP 189 steel so that was primarily the reason the only reason why I grabbed one was because I don't have anything in ZDP 189 steel and so you know I figured I'd grab one up um, I probably won't ever have a use for this uh, I pretty much have all the fixed blade knives that I can use um, that I would want to use uh, so I mean I'm happy with my uh, Zula I'm happy with my Bravo 1 and my um, SRK my cold steel SRK so I really don't know why I purchased that um, it is a second and so it really doesn't hold any resale value or anything like that to me um, but I figured what the heck I'll just grab one anyways um, so let's see here if I can find what did I do with you guys there it is Not you guys you I've got one more left to show now this one I also wasn't gonna get because it's a fixed blade but I put it in my hand and it was very comfortable and it was actually really cool so I grabbed up one of these guys um, I can't remember the name of it I just saw it online not too long ago can't even remember what it was uh, let's see here yeah, I'm not even gonna bother to look it up so if you guys know what it is you know what it is I can't think of it um, very cool little knife though uh, fits well in the hand very comfortable and you know if you ever had to defend yourself uh, you're probably gonna break a finger but somebody's not gonna take this from you so that's one thing that's cool unless of course if you end up using it like this but you know if you've got it locked in right here um, you could throw you know paracord on there wrap it around your wrist you're definitely in good shape um, throw some nice handles on these on these two fixed blades I figure those would be pretty cool uh, to have to hold on to so those were the two fixed blades I decided to get even though I really didn't want to get any fixed blades this one was fifty dollars I think it's either forty or fifty but it is a second it is S30V I believe online I think it says that these are S30V steel but this one does not have any markings so I'm assuming that it's S30V steel uh, pretty cool little knife I actually really like that one I just need to get a um, probably some handles put on it uh, get a sheath made for it um, that would make an awesome little neck knife as well you know just by itself no handles or anything but uh, that's what I ended up getting I got the stones I got these are the knives that I ended up picking up um, and it ended up costing me 230 bucks so overall I mean I wasn't completely unsatisfied with uh, my experience going to a second sale um, but all in all uh, you'd think that Spyderco uh, would want to you know try and satisfy all their customers um, with the products that I believe that they originally had in store for everybody um, you just had hoarders you know you had guys going up and grabbing you know from what I had heard was in these big big uh, trays uh, it was it was basically about a hundred pieces per tray so you have a hundred you know you have a hundred natives you have a hundred of these guys you know they had they had large groups of these trays that they had all set up and guys were literally going up and grabbing the tray and dumping it into their baskets you know so that's very upsetting you know it's like you got guys that go up there I understand that they you know camped out overnight that's understandable um, you know yeah they have the right to first selection but first selection does first selection necessarily mean that hey you know we've got 500 people that are going to be here today let's go ahead and let somebody just take everything 
and not give you know our other customers a chance to get anything yeah I understand that I grabbed a lot of knives okay but these were also I had only had an opportunity at two knives minus you know uh, the fact originally of grabbing bird knives which I wasn't particularly interested in um, I wanted Spyderco knives I wanted Spyderco's that were you know basically made here in the US um, hopefully made in the US. I'm pretty sure all of these are made here in Golden. Um, and so that's what I wanted to get. I wanted to get, you know, I really actually only wanted to get two knives. Uh, I was hoping to get at least three or four, but two knives I would have been happy with. Because um, I've never actually used one. I've never tried one. I have had one of these before. Um, I've messed around with these, but I'm not particular about them and have no use for this uh, these are actually kind of cool and this one I ended up you know being really happy with I didn't think at first that I'd want it but you know I was I was there with some money and that's what I planned on spending um, this one was just you know out of the fact of me wanting to spend basically what I took up there with me um, so yeah it was it was definitely a disappointment uh, not on my end on the fact that there were so many people up there that you know waited for hours upon hours to end up with nothing I mean they had opportunities to grab stones bird knives as well as knives that you know they had on huge discount that I wasn't fond of or didn't necessarily want at the time um, but you know you'd think that they would have been more customer oriented towards giving you know everybody an opportunity to try and grab at least one or two items that they particularly wanted especially considering that you know they had several hundreds of each available uh, now they didn't they may not have had hundreds of the the copas uh, I know that they had hundreds of these guys I mean um, you saw everybody had like 10 of these in a basket uh, these I saw quite a few of not a whole lot but I saw some people that had multiples of these uh, the Mannix tray I did see this tray go up but I never even actually got the chance to get to it um, that was that was one of the biggest things was it's like I'm standing five feet away from the table I saw this tray go up and they were all gone before I actually got to it uh, so you know I got lucky that 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 kid handed me one. Um, I think it is a nice knife, but the serrations aren't really for me. Um, so I don't know. You guys take from it what you will. Uh, you know, it's a, it's definitely an experience to be learned. Um, you know, me on my side of things. Uh, if I was to actually do something like that, camp out and go in and hoard, I think that I'd most likely go stand outside and sell it to them at the spider coast sale value plus the tax that they charged me uh, to get it to the people that you know also waited in line you know I mean if I had several multiple hundreds instead of actually trying to make a buck off of you know something that's as generous as spider coast willing to do uh, you know I'd go up there and take basically what it was that I went up there to grab whether or not if it be ten different items you know but not sit there and completely swallow up everything that I possibly could I mean there were guys that I heard that went out of there with four to five thousand dollars worth of product I mean that's that's a little bit ridiculous to me it's like you know yeah you're out there trying to make a buck but you know there's other people that are waiting as well so you know, I was I was very happy at the generosity of the person in front of me, and so I got a little bit lucky on a couple of knives. Uh, so you know, I got one that I could gift, uh, another one that I could gift to another friend, um, and I like these two. So you know, I don't know if I'll ever even actually use this. I may actually just probably take a loss on it and just sell it. So I don't know, but that's my experience. Um, there is a series part three just so you guys know um, and uh, so you know you guys can check it out it's it's a little it's a lot different than this whole situation so uh, look forward to that one and you guys have a great night
Sorry about the negativity.